welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to The Tonight Show. You're here, and I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Guys, today is Friday the 13th. This morning, this morning, I thought a black cat jumped in front of me, but thank God it was just a rat. I go, oh, All right, now let's uh, get to 20 jokes about Taylor Swift. All right, last uh, night for... <laughs> That's all we've been talking about all week. Uh, last night, for the third time this season, Taylor Swift was cheering on Travis Kelsey at the Kansas City Chiefs game. Yep. Yep. The NFL has the biggest pop star in the world at its games, while Major League Baseball is like, we have live organ music. <laughs> then he goesn't Did it it? Doesn't it? No, not everyone can do it. Not everyone can do it. It's a hard. Almost. It, you got. Not everyone can do it. <laughs> well, he doesn't do it for a living. That's right? all right. That's all right. <laughs> no, it's very hard. Very hard. <laughs> Say what you want about uh, this relationship, but uh, flying to Kansas City on a Thursday night—that's love. Yeah. Yeah. That's. Uh, <laughs> Taylor watched the game with Travis's mom and dad. That's a fun date, huh? Want to spend four hours with my parents while I play with my friends? All right. <laughs> not re Not really. Meanwhile, before the game, announcer Al Michaels promised that they wouldn't go overboard with their coverage of Taylor Swift. Let's see how they did. In case you were wondering, Taylor Swift is here. Of course, his number one fan, Taylor Swift, is here in Arrowhead to cheer him on. Looking on is his good buddy and girlfriend, Taylor Swift. The word just came down to me that Taylor Swift has written a couple of songs for us tonight. Well, not everything in moderation, but here's another shot of a Taylor Swift. <laughs> yeah, honestly, compared to the last two games, mission accomplished. I mean, well done. They barely, they cut. The final score was Chiefs 19, Broncos 8, cutaways to Taylor 572. <laughs> Well, some political news after uh, failing to gain enough support from Republicans, Congressman Steve Scalise has dropped out of the race for House Speaker. Yep. If we're using Republicans to measure time, a Scalise is even shorter than a Scaramucci. <laughs> I just came in for a quick Scalise. I mean, it wasn't a full Scaramucci. It was... The House is a mess. McCarthy got voted out. Scalise couldn't get enough votes. And the interim speaker slams the gavel like he's playing whack-a-mole. Yeah. <laughs> That's right, the search for a new speaker has been pretty chaotic. First it was Kevin McCarthy, then it was Steve Scalise, and now it doesn't seem like anyone else can get enough votes. But tonight, the House finally picked a new nominee, and he's here now via satellite from D.C. Please welcome the new pick for Speaker of the House, Tim Barrett. Tim, thank you for being here. Thanks for having me, Jimmy. I'm very excited to represent my party and my country in this new role, and I'm ready to hit the ground running. Uh, now, now, Tim, what, what would you say your biggest goals are uh, to, as you take over the office of speaker? Great question, Jimmy. <laughs> I think that above all, we need to come together. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Hang on, I'm sorry. So, what, what's going on? What, what, what happened to Tim? Oh, he had dropped out. Uh... Just, just, just now he dropped out? That's right. I'm the new nominee, and I couldn't be more excited to get started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but I'm sorry, but who, who are you? My name is Bill Doyle. Okay, Bill, I'm, I'm a little thrown off, uh, but I guess I'll ask you the same thing. What are your biggest goals as speaker? Party unity, Jimmy. <laughs> That's where it all starts. Yeah, I'm sorry, wait, wait who, who are you? I'm Jordan Roth, the new nominee for Speaker of the House. You're the new speaker nominee? That's right, Jimmy. <laughs> Hank Remington, nice to meet you. I'm sorry, wait, another nominee for speaker? That's like the fourth one in a minute. How is this even happening? I know. It's a little cuckoo around here, LOL. Wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> Tim, you're here again? You're, you're back in the running? No, I just forgot my car keys. Oh, okay, okay. well, that, that's enough. Will someone just tell me who the new speaker of the house is? The new speaker is Lewis, the target Halloween decoration? I am not the speaker. My name is Lewis. Okay, good. You know, I think we're done here. Give it up for the new speaker of the house, Lewis. <laughs> Listen to this. Uh, apparently, Netflix plans to open their own stores where customers can play games, shop, and eat. Yeah. They'll even have servers going up to tables going, are you still eating? Three, two, one. <laughs> Of course, since it's Netflix, people are like, we like to skip the appetizers and go right to the main course. 
The only rule at the Netflix restaurant is you can't share your food. Oh. Hey, I read that uh, Jeff Bezos uh, just bought his Florida neighbor's mansion for $79 million. Jeff Bezos is the only uh, person who sees an $80 million mansion and goes, closet? <laughs> and finally, a man uh, pleading guilty to stealing the Wizard of Oz ruby slippers from a museum in Minnesota, yeah. Or as he tells his cellmate, uh, murder. I'm in for murder. <laughs> we have a great show. Kelly Clarkson is here to talk and perform a song of her new album. New York Rangers legend Henrik Lundqvist is here. Let's go write some thank you notes. Come on, everybody. We've been making your pocket, my favorite cartoon. After my visit, the honeymoon. Hey, yo, me, yo, my, just tag me with a spoon. And tell me who love pop pop. How's it go? Come on. Everybody, welcome! Uh, I went to go see uh, 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 Gutenberg last night. Oh, how was it? This is this is my actual one. See, it's all, it's all. I, I thought I'd get a nice new crisp one, but this is the one I had and in your pocket. was moving around. It's I didn't put it in my pocket. It. It's got the opening night sticker. When you go to opening night, you get the sticker. So that's what I wanted to show off. Yeah, you get that special sticker. Uh, it was unbelievable. They were hilarious. It was great. It was at the James Earl Jones Theater here in Broadway. I haven't been to the Broadway play in a little bit, so I mean, the show's been off for five months, so yeah. I hadn't really been around. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it was so great. I, I loved everyone that, uh, that put on this, uh, the play and everyone that works here around. I just miss Broadway. I love seeing the, I did the red carpet. I saw the Broadway.com guy. I love Ooh. that guy. He's fantastic. I saw him. Uh, I, I, got, I, was, it was, uh, I saw Anna Wintour. Ooh. Sat in front of Anna. Ooh. No big deal. Not a big deal, right? Really? Who cares? I mean, who, who cares? cares? No, one's, no one's asking. Yeah. Did you, who'd you sit in front of? Oh, Anna? The, Anna who? Oh, Anna Wintour, you ever oh heard of God. Vogue? Oh my gosh. She was behind me the whole time. Really? Yeah. No, not a big deal. I guess I got good seats. <laughs> uh, it was at the James Earl Jones Theater, and if you're a fan of uh, uh, James Earl Jones or, or even Star Wars or whatever, the, the beginning, they have a funny joke. Oh. That's really good, but you just have to listen to it. It's very, but it's it all, there's all jokes spread out. It's crazy, by the way, the play is nuts. It's absolutely, it's about two guys are pitching a play and they know nothing about Gutenberg and the printing press and it's, it's, it's bizarre. <laughs> but these guys are so charming and funny. Oh. oh my gosh, everything, just a thousand laughs. So congratulations to everyone over at uh, Gutenberg and Gutenberg. The James Earl Jones Theater. And Anna, call me if you want to go see his show. Uh, guys, today's Friday. That's usually when I catch up with some personal stuff. I, I check my inbox, I return some emails, and of course, I send out thank you notes. And I was just wondering if you guys wouldn't mind. I'd like to write out some thank you notes right now. Uh, James, can I have some thank you note writing music, please? Wow. Jazz, could, could you do it in like an organ style? Can you play like. Fin, 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 fin. Bim, 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 bim. I'm not hearing? I can hear. Oh! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> That's the jam right there. Bada boom, wah, boom, wah. Bada boom, wah, boom, wah. Oh yeah. What was that? <laughs> you sat in front of her? Yeah, she was right there. Wow. Those are good seats. She's like moving her head around, yeah, trying to see. You're wearing your giant hat that you wear. Yeah, I was wearing my hairpiece. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Big no, she's Preston. very lovely. I, I, I do, I do love running into her. But it was, it was good crowd. It was super fun. Yeah, it was great. But, you know, I, I just had a better view than she did. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, right. <laughs> Not a big deal. We saw the same yeah. thing. Yeah, sure. Kind of. Yeah, but you saw better. Your, your view was about one foot better. Yeah. Less. Oh, sure. Less than one foot, but just let's just say better. All right. <laughs> like that. Like I could, we could touch hands. Right. You could reach, or you'd reach back and touch hands. Yeah, we, I had to reach back and yeah. strain myself. Right. <laughs> And normally, if, if we went together... Right, she'd be sitting next to you. Yeah, then we could hold hands here. Right, but no. No. Back seat. I shouldn't even be holding her hand at all. It wasn't right. a scary play. It was, I had no business of holding her hand. But you were anyway? 
I think it was her hand. I didn't look behind me. You just put your hand on like this, somebody grabbed it? Yeah, someone grabbed it. I was nervous. Yeah. I was nervous. I don't know. I haven't seen a live yeah, play in a long time. Yeah, I've five months. I, yeah. I, was, I was getting scared. I go, what's all these lights? And... Especially because today, is, that was Friday the 13th Eve yesterday. Yeah, by the time, if I if the play went long, I would have been there on Friday the 13th. Yeah. Scary. It, it ended around 8.39. What? 8.39 exactly? Yeah. Wow. That's 8.39. That's starting to end. That's well, union rules. Oh, really? Every Broadway show has to That's end at 8.39. 8 wow. Yeah. Uh, on Friday, on Friday Thursday, the, the 12th. Thursday the 12th, yes. Yeah. That was good. You should go see it. I will. <laughs> Save it. Save it. <laughs> Ready? <clears throat> Thank you, Autumn, for being Fall's legal name. Oh. Like a nickname. Autumn J. Smith. Thank you, Scarves, for being the only clothes that you put on with attitude. Really? Why not? <laughs> Why not? Thank you, Step Ladders. You're not my real ladder, but I can tell you make my mom very happy. my real ladder. <laughs> this is my step ladder, Doug. <laughs> Thank you, British TV shows, for reminding me that just because it's in English doesn't mean I don't need subtitles. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, being offered banana bread, for being told all of our bananas started to rot. So, well, here you go. <laughs> Enjoy that. Live it up. You don't have to tell me that. Yeah. Yeah, they're all going bad, so we made oh. this for you. They were moldy. <laughs> Thank you, VR headsets, for being the coolest way to look like you're wearing a jock strap on your head. It smells ripe. <laughs> Thank you, plastic vampire teeth, for being Dracula's Invisalign. <laughs> Couldn't have done that joke 10 years ago. Yeah. Thank you, kids who carve pumpkins with super elaborate designs, for making me think that's really impressive, as well as do not anger this kid. Thank you, the moment I finally get comfortable in bed, for also being the moment my bladder goes, guess what? <laughs> there you have it, everybody. Those are my thank you notes. Hey.